Hey guys, editing Chan jumping in here. So I found this footage from this video I made last year. I like fully edited the thing and then never uploaded it. I don't know why. It might be because it's very short. Like it's without this intro, I think it's maybe four minutes long. <laughs> so, um, but I still think it applies. You can still use all these tips and you can definitely order some of these things or do curbside pickup so that you don't have to actually go inside the store. But I hope you like this video. It's just a really quick patio refresh and I teach you how to make a vertical garden. So if you want to see this video, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you guys in the video, I guess. <laughs> this is my patio. It's not bad. It's just like dirty because I haven't cleaned it up from winter. So my dream is to put the vertical garden right here on this wall. And then these are the plants that I got like a month ago. Um, because I want them to get used to being on my patio <laughs> and then I have to clean off this table and then I need to clean up just all the crap that falls on it from winter and whatnot and you tell I don't sit there that's normally a footrest and I'm gonna put a rug down we can't hang lights um, on our patios unless it's like Christmas time so I can't do that but I do have this cool solar powered lantern that I got from Ikea so I'll be keeping that but the main goal today is just to get the vertical garden up and I think, oh yeah, and then sweep off all this crap <laughs> and make it look a lot cuter. I got a rug to go down here too, so hopefully it fits. I measured, but you never know. Okay, so for this DIY, you're going to need potting soil based upon whatever plant you've got. I have succulents, so I got a cactus mix. This trellis, um, I got this from Ikea. I'll link it below. It's actually twice the size. Those two things are stacked on top of each other. And then you'll need a drill. You'll need self-drilling screw screws. Mm, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> um, make sure they're self-drilling. Make sure they're metal or at least stainless steel because this is going outside. You need um, pipe clamps that are at least the diameter of your pop pots of pots <laughs> and make sure those are stainless steel too and the reason you want stainless steel is because it will rust otherwise and then you'll pick your pot these are i think the bottom is four inches and the top is 4.75 inches i've only been able to find these at home depot and lowe's and i like them because they're terracotta but they're also pretty modern terracotta shaped pots so you know a little different from the old school and you could paint them obviously if you wanted to I don't think I'm going to though and then you need plants my plants are outside soaking in the sunlight so I'm not gonna disturb them but you saw them earlier in the video so the first thing I'm gonna do is put together this trellis the first thing I did was put the trellis together it came with four wooden dowels that you put in the pre-drilled holes don't stand it up like I am because then you'll break the dolls and you only have three wooden dowels. <laughs> I used a hammer to get the two wall pieces as snug as possible though. And you see me here struggling to remove the stickers. <sighs> I cut out so much of me just trying to get stickers off of things in this video. Just note to yourself, take off all the stickers before you put anything together. Stickers on the pot, stickers on the plumbing clamps, just everything. Secure the trellis to the wall and then here you just see me struggling <laughs> to screw through the pipe clamps. I hear it's possible you just need like a nail or something to get through it but I couldn't do it. I ended up using the hooks that come with this trellis to hang them but you still need screws to attach the trellis to the wall to support the weight. Then I put the pipe clamp around the pot and the hook at the same time and tighten it as much as possible. I used a flathead screwdriver to get it even more secure, but you just want it as tight as possible so it doesn't fall off the wall once the plant and the soil and the weight of all that is actually in it. Here are my four plots hanging and chilling. You can rearrange them however you want. Last but not least, I planted my children, aka my plants. I was actually really nervous about planting them because I've tried with succulents before in the past and they always die when I replant them. <laughs> always. It's the one plant I can't keep alive. I think if you can, if you have the time, bring your plants home. Don't take them out of their nursery pot and then just let them live in the space to get used to the amount of sunlight they may receive and just the temperature of where they're at. That definitely helped a lot. I also watched a lot of plant tip videos to help me out. And here's my final space, a vertical patio garden to encourage me to be a plant lady even more. And <laughs> I cleaned up the rest of the space and I just added a rug and this is my small patio makeover. 